the next step is the preparation of a correct usage of the DAF digital vision system. For optimal and correct working of the DAF digital vision system, I need to set the length of the combination in the system. Every time when the ignition is switched on, a blue line appears on both screens. This is the so-called end of trailer line. By moving this line to the end of the trailer, the DAF digital vision system knows the length of the combination. To know the exact end of the combination, a tool can be used, like a cone, to determine the end of the trailer. Now, the only thing I need to do is confirm this setting, and that is by pressing this button. Display overlays become visible after selecting the end of the trailer. These three lines help you in judging distance behind the vehicle while overtaking or maneuvering. The red line is the selected end of trailer line. The other two lines help you in supporting judging distance behind the trailer. Based on your preference, the view of the camera can also be adjusted by pressing this button. It is very important to select a view of the camera where the so-called save icon is there. This save icon tells you that the view of the camera is within the legislation. To confirm the selection, press and hold this switch for two seconds. Now the camera view is saved. A nice functionality of the DOF digital vision system is auto panning. With auto panning, the camera follows the end of the trailer in a curve. So you will always have a view of the end of the trailer on your screen. Auto panning can be switched off with this button but that is not advisable. 